Hello, hello everyone. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you all so much for joining here today. Hello. We're going to get started at about 7.03. We are going to see if anyone else joins us here today. May we all find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. I'm going to come into a half lotus as we are using our easy seat to help round, relax, and soothe our mind and bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, tucked at our navel, our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken, having control of our bodies with our shoulder blades relaxed downward away from our ears. When we relax our shoulders downward, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. A lot of tension builds up in the shoulders and the neck. So simply reminding the client to relax those shoulders down will help them relax and go in. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. Taking nice, subtle breaths. As we relax in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two breaths. Relaxing our palms downward towards the earth on the side of our bodies. We are connecting our palms to our yoga mat. We are tuning in with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us. Right here, right now, at this present moment. Without judgment, simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into our salute, palms are together above our heads. Interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakra is open. Our chin is up. Allowing our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. This is a slight back bend. You'll feel this in your lower spine, your lumbar spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling to center, separating our palms, coming into a seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are together. When our palms are together, we are in that seated salute. When our palms are separated, we are in that seated extended mountain. Taking a notice of the difference between the two poses. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, twist the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. This twist relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. As we hold this pose, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back the center, flowing into that seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up, gaze in the eyes down. Breathe in, fill in the lungs with air. Exhale, twist the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Feel the next spinal twist opposite side. Soothing and relaxing that spine. We may feel our spinal cord cracking and relaxing. Two more breaths. Mm 
Exhaling back to center, flowing back into that star. Palms are outward towards the sides. Exhale to our salute. Palms above the head, palms together. Breathe down to prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gaze in the eyes down. As we use this time to tune into self, noticing how we feel right here in this present moment. As we are going inward, may our mind and our bodies start to relax, winding down from our day. Three breaths of silence. Two breaths. Exhale back up to our salute, palms together. Chin is up. Exhale to our extended mountain, separating our palms. As we lean our bodies towards the side, coming into a seated side bend, gazing up at the heavens. When we gaze up, we open up that heart chakra a little more. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Leading our bodies to the opposite side, seated side bend. Gazing up at the heavens, at their arm. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our palms together in our salute. Chin is up. Lean the body towards the right. We are in our seated crescent mood. When our palms are together, we call it a seated crescent moon. When our palms are separated, we call it a seated side bend. So taking the notice of each pose, two more breaths. Exhale back to center, we are in our salute. Lean into the opposite side, crescent moon, opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens, two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Breathing our palms down that heart center, seated prayer, relaxing those shoulders down. You may feel a little bit of intense workouts in your upper shoulders, in your shoulders, that's good. We are firming and toning when we do a lot of these poses. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we flow our legs into a bound position, our feet, we're gonna bring our feet together, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. Our feet are together. This is a hip opener. So if we ever have a client and they say they have tight hips, we can put them in a diamond. A diamond of feet are further away from the body. And a butterfly, the feet are closer towards the body. So they both look very similar, but they are different work in different parts. One is a deeper hip opener than the other. Connecting our hands to our feet with our heart chakra open, our chin up. This allows our spinal cord to feel nice and elongated here. Two breaths. Maybe allowing that head to flow between your shoulder blades, coming into that cow. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat, chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Tummies are tucked at our navy, at our navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up to our diamond or our butterfly. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we slightly hinge at the hips, bringing our torso downward towards our feet. Noticing that when we hinge, we come deeper into that hip opening. We are relaxing and soothing those hip flexors. Only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go. As our shoulder blades melt forward, our head melts downward towards our feet. You'll feel this in your inner thighs. You'll also feel this in your lumbar back. This is also a relaxing and soothing pose. It regulates the heartbeat as well. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up to our diamond or our butterfly. 
using our hands to bring our knees inward, straightening our legs, coming into that staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Spinal cord is nice and long. Tummy's tucked at the navel. Shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. Spinal cord is nice and long as we are gaze forward. Sitting here in this staff pose, sitting nice and strong, nice and tall, nice and firm. Two more breaths. Slightly hinging at the hips, bringing our torso downward towards our thighs. Noticing how this feels. This is a seated, this is a seated half forward fold. And you'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings as we hinge over. And if we can, if we choose, we can connect our hands to our lower ankles or our feet, coming into that seated forward fold. This is a full body stretch. Torso melts downward towards the thighs. Shoulders melt forward. Our head melts downward towards our knees. If we're able, take a nice subtle breaths here. Feeling the body lengthen and stretch here in this full body stretch. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward. Coming up to our staff pose. Bodies are nice and straight. Spinal cords nice and long. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, feeling that stretch. Chin is up. Interlacing our fingers, pointer fingers come, pointer fingers up towards the heavens, leaning the arms slightly towards the back, feeling this light back bend. Tummy's tight at the navel. Exhale back to our salute, breathing down to prayer, heart center. Palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Two more breaths. As we breathe our right leg up in the air, right knee is in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna work on our Sage Marici here. Backs are nice and elongated here. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We're gonna take this right arm, breathe it up in the air. Lean our body slightly towards the left. Lean forward, lowering that arm down. And we're gonna wrap this arm around that leg, feeling that stretch, feeling that twist here. We are in our Sage Marici one. Our heart chakras open, our chin is up. If we was to hinge at the hips, bringing our head down towards our knees, we'll be in our Sage Marici two. So noticing how each feels in the body. And if we choose, we can actually go deeper. We can take this left hand, yes, and wrap it around our backs, interlacing our fingertips together with our heart chakra open and our chin up. Or we could come down to a Sage Marici two, hinging at the hips. Whatever feels best for you, we're gonna hold this four breaths. Two more breaths. As we uninterlace those fingers, we're gonna unwrap that leg, straightening that leg back into that staff pose. Breathing our arms above our heads in that salute. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Breathe in. Exhale the prayer, palms at heart center. <sighs> Hinging at the hips, coming into that half forward fold or reaching down to our ankles or our feet, complete forward fold. Head melts down towards our knees. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold as we come up to our staff pose. Spinal cords are nice and long. As we bring our left leg up in the air, well, left knee's in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. Here, I'm sorry, left arm up in the air. Lean the body towards the right. Lean forward, lower that arm as we wrap this left arm around that left leg, feeling that twist. We can bring our right hand behind our backs, interlacing our right and left fingers, if that feels good. With our heart chakra open, chin is up. We are in that stage, we reach you one. If we hinge at the hips, lowering that head down towards the knees, we are in a stage where we keep 
maybe trying both poses and seeing how they feel within the body. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we're going to unwrap that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Tummy's tight at the navel, spinal cords nice and long. Checking in with body, checking in with self. Two more breaths. As we position our bodies to bring our knees inward towards our chest and our feet are slightly off the earth. Connecting our hands to our feet, tummies are tight, spinal cords are nice and long here. Noticing how this feels, this is a hip opener, it's also balancing the body. Keeping our backs nice and elongated, tummies tight at the navel. As we straighten out our left leg, feeling that stretch, we are lengthening and stretching here. We are in our half boat pose or boat pose variation. We're gonna hold this pose. Three more breaths, feeling a stretch. Two breaths. Exhale that leg back in. Keeping our balance here. We are balancing as we opposite side, right leg goes out to the sides, feeling that stretch. You'll feel it behind your leg here, your hamstrings. Tummy's tight, backs along. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale the leg back in. Checking in with body, seeing how we feel. If all feels well, we're gonna give it another go. Bringing that left leg out towards the side. Nice, elongated leg here. Nice, deep stretch. If we're able, we can bring that opposite leg out, bringing our legs into a, a V. We are now in that full boat pose variation. You'll feel this here in your tummy and your core. Spinal cords are nice and long. That's what we use to keep us up. And we can widen that V if we choose, allowing those legs to stretch out towards the side if we choose. Going nice and deep in the stretch here. Feeling the core get nice and strong. Or we can also bring our legs inward. Noticing that when we breathe our legs in, you'll feel it in your core a little more. Feeling our bodies balanced and relax and stretch. Four more breaths. We can bring our legs inward or out to the side, whatever feels good for you. Chin is up, heart chakras open, feeling that body feel nice and long. Chin is up. Three more breaths. Tummies are tight at the navel. Two breaths. Exhale the feet back in, coming to that bell position, either a diamond or a butterfly. Slightly hinging at the hips, torso comes downward towards the thigh, allowing that head to relax downward towards the feet. Closing the eyes or gazing the eyes down. Shoulder blades melts forward, allowing the body to soothe and relax here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out of this position, coming back to that diamond or that butterfly, using our hands to bring our knees inward, crossing our feet and our ankles as we come to a tabletop, coming onto our hands and our knees. And our tabletop, our knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth. Dropping our bodies down to our cow. You'll feel this in your lumbar, your lower spine. Chin is slightly up. Tummies flow downward towards the earth. Cow pose, three breaths. This pose is great for low back pain. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Tucking that tummy at the navel with three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to our cow, feeling this in our lumbar spine. Hanging out here in this cow, soothing and relaxing that lower back. Two breaths. Flowing to our cat. 
finding our pause at table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet, tummies are tight. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our legs left and right. Finding our pause, we're gonna come into a three-legged dog right side. Right leg flows in the air. We are building strength in our arms. Gazing back at that foot, three-legged. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch, bringing that knee to elbow or knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog, gaze it at the feet. We may be feeling our arms get nice and tired and we're gonna keep on flowing. We are building strength. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg flows in the air, gazing at the foot. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow or knee to nose, feeling that crunch, tummy's tight. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog up our pedal and our feet left and right. As we drop down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, buttocks is high in the air, gazing back at our feet. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. And if you choose, maybe you can pulse up and down on your tippy toes. Like in, yes, like we're ready to launch our bodies up to a headstand. It preps the body for headstand just a little more. Pulsing up and down is just an option. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever pose feels best for you, allowing that torso to relax between your thighs, our forehead, third eye chakra, and next to the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Feeling that heartbeat soothe and regulate. As we relax here, silent meditation six natural breaths. Three more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. That's called an extended child's pose, puppy pose. Whenever our arms are extended, it's called an extended pose. Two more breaths, bone is here. <sighs> With our palms flat on the earth, may we spine and wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Using our palms to push our torsos forward, feeling that wave in the number spine, feeling that body wave here. Pushing our torso, our buttocks back to our, feet, our heels. So wave in that body, you'll feel this throughout your spinal cord. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Finding that pause at center, we're gonna come back to our tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart, dropping down to our cow. Mm. Exhale to cat. 
flowing back to our table as we sunbird pose, breathing our right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch, gazing forward. Tummies are nice and tight here. Palms are flat on the earth as we are gathering our balance. If all feels well, may we extend that left arm forward. We are now in that full sunburn. We are balancing and strengthening here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in, nice deep breath. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, feeling that crunch, working our abdominals as we balance. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Hanging out here, two more breaths. Palms are flat on the earth if we choose. We're going to pulse that right leg up in the air. We are now working at gluteus maximus. Yes, we are getting a nice firm workout here today. Lifting and rounding that buttocks. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding still. Exhale back to table. Knees are hip distance as we drop down to our cow. Chin is up. Flow into our cat. Coming back to our table as we sunburn opposite side. Left leg comes towards the back nice and long. Feeling that stretch. <sighs> Just keep in mind, if you have any clients who can't keep their balance, we can always give them the option to lower those, those toes downward before they extend their horn. So leg to the back or lower the toes down. Whatever feels good for you. As we extend that right arm forward, we are now in that full sunburn. Tummies are tight at the navel, gazing forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Two breaths. Bringing our palms downward towards the earth, both palms if we choose, as we cross that left leg up in the air. Lifting and rounding our gluteus maximus. Our gluteus maximus on the opposite side, feeling that burn, three more breaths. Tummies are tight, two breaths. Finding pause. Exhale back to table, knees are hip distance as we drop down to our cow, relaxing our bodies, chin is up. Low into our cat. Coming back to our table, pushing our bodies back up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog, our pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our pause as we breathe our right foot to our right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Holding this pose just for a couple breaths. Dropping down to our left knee. We are nailing in that low lunge. If we choose, we can bring our torso away from our thigh, bringing our arms above our heads, coming into that crescent lunge, low lunge. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feeling this stretch, this pose also prepares the body for split. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth, coming back to that runner's lunge. Straightening that front leg, coming into a pyramid. Front leg straightens, torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down towards the knee. Shoulder blades melt forward, allowing the body to soothe and relax as we breathe in deeply. Exhale. Two more breaths. Flowing back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. 
Walking out with dog, pedal on our feet, left and right. Tummies are tight. Finding our pause. As we breathe our left foot to our left hand, run as lunge, opposite side. Feeling that stretch, hanging out here. As we lower that right knee down towards the earth, we are now in that run as lunge. I'm sorry, we're down in that no lunge. Lifting our torso away from our thigh if we choose. Breathing our arms above our heads in that crescent lunge. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Feeling that stretch. Once again, this pose prepares the body for split. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth, back to that right lunge. Straightening out that leg, coming back to that pyramid. Twist over the axis, over that thigh, head melts down towards the knee. Shoulder blades melts forward, feeling that body relax and soothe as we breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Mm. Mm. Exhale to run his lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we shift our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Shifting the weight forward, high plank, working our upper parts of our bodies. Coming into a low plank if that feels best for you. Three breaths. Mm. Two breaths, building strength. Tummies tight as we exhale down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two more breaths. Exhale down to our tummies, coming onto a Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Torsos are lifted away from the earth. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. A lot of clients sometimes in that Sphinx pose, they may shrug. So reminding them to have control of their bodies. Shoulders away from the ears. Chin is slightly up. With the eyes gazed down to close. Breathe in. Exhale. This is a slight back bend. It's also a soothing and relaxing pose. Two more breaths. As we flow down to our Superman or Supergirl, we are on our tummies, arms flow to the front, legs are off the earth. Superman, Supergirl works the torso. I'm sorry, yes, it works the back, the gluteus maximus, the arms, the shoulders. And we can act like we are flying by moving our bodies, or we can simply stay still. Whatever feels good for you here in your Superman, Supergirl, as we are gaze forward, three more breaths. Two breaths. As we swim our arms towards the back, coming into a locust pose, arms swim towards the back, palms are up towards the heavens, torso comes further away from the earth, chin is up. This is a deeper back bend. We are toning and firming our back. Our gluteus maximus. We are also working the lumbar spine. Two more breaths. We're going to hold this pose exactly as we are, and we're going to relax down into a sleeping locust. Coming down on our forehead, our third eye chakra. Shoulder blades melt forward. Our sleeping locust is a resting pose, allowing our third eye chakra, our forehead, to connect to the earth. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward into the yoga mat, into the earth. Feeling the body connect. Feeling the mind go within. As we relax in silent meditation for five natural breaths.
few more plants. Slowly awakening that sleeping locust, lifting our bodies up. We are back in that locust pose. Torsos off the earth, feet are off the earth. Chin is up. Feeling this back bend. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow into our bow pose or a half bow, connecting our right hand to our right ankle. That's the half bow, full bow. Both hands to both ankles. This is a deeper back bend. Our torso comes even further away from the earth. Filling that gluteus maximus, get nice and tight here. This is great for lumbar, for lower back pain. Chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back down, come into that sleeping locust, relaxing and soothing the body. Four breaths. Mm. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Shoulder blades melts forward. Two more breaths. Swimming our hands forward. We're going to come into a, a sleeping pose. Swimming those hands forward. Bringing those hands, palms on top of each other, stacked as we relax our chin, our forehead, or our cheeks onto our hands. Shoulder blades melt forward as we are allowing our mind and our bodies to continue to rest here. Going inward. Taking note of how we feel right here, right now without judgment, simply being aware. Three more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back into our Sphinx pose, coming back onto our forearms, torsos comes away from the earth. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears, meaning we are not sunken. Have a control of that body. Chin is up. Two breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso. Elbow slightly bent. Lifting that torso slightly away from the earth. Chin is up. Baby cobra. Two breaths. Exhale up to our cobra, straightening those elbows just a little more. Torso comes further away from the earth. Chin is up. Two breaths. Exhale to our up dog, taking our thighs off the earth. Chin is up. This is a deeper back bend. We are also working our arms, our shoulders, our back, our back legs. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back down to our cobra, coming onto our thighs. Breathing back down to our baby cobra, bending those elbows. Coming back to our Sphinx pose, we are now on our forearms. And you may be feeling this in your lumbar back. Taking a notice of the difference between the poses we just did, the Sphinx pose, the baby cobra, the cobra, and the up dog. Just taking a moment to notice the difference between these poses when we are teaching our clients we may say poses and you will see different people in different poses and that is a-okay. We're just gonna hang out here in this Sphinx pose for four more breaths, just going over within our head and our mind, the differences of the poses and how they feel within our body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we exhale back to that baby cobra, palms are next to the torso, elbows slightly bent. Exhale into that cobra. Breathe up, dog. Thighs are off the earth. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale down, dog. Gazing at the feet. 
pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold, allowing our torso to relax over that thigh. Feeling a stretch here behind our legs and our hamstrings. Head melts downward towards the toes. This is a regulating, this regulates the heartbeat. It's a soothing pose. It's also a lengthening pose, as well as a stretching pose. As we take a nice deep breath in, Exhale. As we hang out here, four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward, backs are straight. Three breaths. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, two more breaths, creating that nice stance. As we float back down to a rag dial, allowing the torso to come down, connecting our hands to our elbow, allowing that head to relax completely down, noticing how this rag dial feels. And if we choose, we can rock or sway our body from side to side, noticing that when we sway, we'll feel it a little more behind our legs and our hamstrings. Yes, we are feeling a stretch. We are lengthening. We are soothing. We are relaxing. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, slightly gazing forward. <sighs> Two more breaths. Coming up to a wide legged Tadasana. Palms are at our side and we are wide legged. As we bend our knees, bringing our hands up to cactus hands, we're gonna come down to that goddess God stance, working the lower parts of our bodies here, building strength at the lower parts of our bodies. And if we choose, we can pulse that body up and down, going deeper into that goddess stance, working different muscles within the thighs, the quads, the gluteus maximus. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, and if we choose, we can rock side to side, noticing the different muscles this work. Coming out of the pose whenever you choose. Three more breaths. Finding our pause at center, and if we're able, we can breathe our palms above our heads in that salute. Keeping that goddess stance. Exhale down to prayer, palms at heart center. Pulsing the body up and down. Three breaths, two breaths. Feeling that burn, finding pause. Exhale, standing stars, straightening those legs. Palms come out towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. As we remove, as we relax and soothe in this star, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down to our goddess, our God stance. Feeling that body get nice and strong and firm here in our cactus hands. As we flow up to our salute, palms above the head, chin is up. Exhale down to prayer, palms at heart center. Coming back to that cactus as we cross those legs up and down. Cross that body up and down, feeling that burn. We got this, this is how we tone and firm. Two breaths, finding pause as we rock left and right. Working different parts of the muscles, tummies are tight. Three breaths, two breaths, finding pause, two more breaths. Cactus hands, exhale, wide legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head relaxes downward, gazing at the back of the room, feeling that nice deep stretch. Breathe in deeply, exhale, soothing and relaxing. 
anyone want to flow into a headstand, they may. Otherwise, let's just hang out here, relaxing and soothing and catching our breath. We're going to relax in silent meditation or flow into a headstand for six breaths. I see Chris is giving it a try. Hey, <laughs> all right now. <laughs> Looking good. Five more breaths, relaxing and soothing. Going inward. <sighs> Three more breaths, taking our time. Okay, I see someone else in the headstand. All right now, yes, do it. Going inward, two more breaths. Slowly coming out of our headstands, nice and easy. Coming back down to our wide-legged forward fold, nice and relaxing. Taking our time, feeling every motion. Feeling the body soothe. As we come into a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward, relaxing the body. As we breathe our left hand to our right foot, we're gonna do a cross body stretch. Taking this right hand, breathe it behind our backs, feeling that twist as we gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our cross body stretch. This is a lengthening pose. It is a full body stretch and it is a spinal twist. We're gonna hold this for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Wide legged half forward fold, catching our breath, checking in with our bodies as we breathe our right hand towards our left ankle, crossing this left hand over our back as we gaze over that left shoulder. We are in our cross body stretch opposite side, feeling our bodies relaxing and soothing here, going inward. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, body back to center, wide legged, half forward fold. Chin is up, spinal cords are nice and long. Feel the next stretch. As we exhale, complete forward fold, head melts down, connecting the hands to the ankles or the hands to the earth, whatever feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we walk our hands forward, bringing our legs together, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog, pedal on our legs, left to right. As we drop down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, let out in the air, gazing at the back of the front. Four breaths. Tossing up on our tippy toes, if that feels good. As we drop down to our knees, coming into our wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels good for you, you're gonna relax and soothe. Four breaths. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spine away our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Three breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. Finding our pause at table, knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to cow. 
Exhale to cat. Lower back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose. Only for a second, we're gonna come into a reclined position, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat. As we extend our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Feel the next stretch as our toes, as our toes point up towards the heavens. We are in that ballerina's feet. We are in our plantar flex. Pointing those toes towards the ceiling, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we reach down, connecting our hands to the lower legs. As we breathe our legs towards our torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth. Feeling this stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling legs back up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Feeling that stretch. We're feeling that relaxation here as we allow our knees to fall low towards the left. Recline, spinal twist, knees flow to the left. Right arm comes out to the side as we gaze over that right shoulder or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels good for you. Our bodies are soothing, relaxing with our eyes closed or gaze down. Five natural breaths. We can come to an extended hand to toe and I will twist if we choose. <sighs> Relaxing and soothing. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Hugging the knees into the chest. As we breathe our knees to the opposite side, we climb spinal twist, right side, knees flows to the right. Left arm comes out to the side as we gaze over our left shoulder. Or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels best for you. Shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we relax and soothe, a five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Exhale up, coming to a happy baby, bringing our hands towards between our thighs, feet is up in the air. Hands out to the side, connecting them to our feet. Happy baby. This here is also a hip opener. It's also a soothing and relaxing pose. And we can rock our body from side to side if that feels good, using the earth to relax and soothe your spine. Or we can stay still. Four breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Exhale, legs up on the wall. Breathing our knees to our chest. Go into our Shavasana, our rest pose. Legs are parallel side by side. The sides of our feet are connecting or touching as we allow our feet to fall to the side like a bee. 
completely relaxing our leg. Shoulder blades close to the back of the yoga mat. Eyes are closed, the gaze down. As we relax in silent meditation for six natural breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Keeping our eyes closed, if we choose, we're gonna roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose for three breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, maybe rotate our ankles. Moving our buttocks at our hips. As we take this top hand, using it to push our bodies up into a seated pose, any seated pose of choice, I'm gonna come into a cow face lace. And you find any seated pose that feels good for you. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cords are nice and elongated here. Shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we breathe our palms at heart center, if we choose, taking this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care and teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.